right guys welcome back to the channel today i am gonna feature another piece from panto this is my newest acquisition and it's really quite exciting to to have this in hand because it is very similar uh, in uh, caliber and size to that pantor seal which i reviewed uh, some while back so let's get into this again uh, they've sent it in uh, uh, this nice you know faux leather watch carrying case uh, so this is their standard case and i think it's a really nice uh, and uh, smart thing they've done to choose to send it in these cases because it really is quite handy and you know again i'll show you you know it's a double watch carrying case uh holds in by a strap you know nice soft material to protect your watch and a leather flap to prevent the watches from scratching each other uh, so just quickly to show you you know basic uh, card with basic instructions for a three-handed mechanical watch really you don't really need to know that i think most watch enthusiasts will, will never look at an instruction set for a three-hander like this uh, you kind of know what you're expecting uh, and just to show you this is uh, i guess indicative of the size of the watch i have had to remove that many links to make it fit on my wrist so you can it, it's kind of designed for a much bigger wrist uh, i suppose you might take that as a sign and then there's a basic warranty card there so let's just get into the watch you know, you can see it's held in by that uh, rubber strap there let's get out the the watch from the packaging and show it to you uh, just release it and there we have this massive watch so this is the pantor seahorse blue bezel model uh, I, I believe the seahorse was actually their first release so correct me if i'm wrong uh, now pantor hasn't been around for very long but i, I think this was actually their first piece and and what a piece it is it really attracted me uh, to get this when I, I saw it after i reviewed the seals having a look at their website uh, i wanted to get my hands on this so it's, it's a pleasure to have this in hand so this one actually is uh, listed at 679 usd on your website i'm not sure how often they may go on sale uh, but i suppose they may release occasional discount codes and sales now and then uh, i'll put any information down on the description as i find it so guys this watch actually has the miyota 9015 now i think this is only the second watch uh, which i've featured uh, which has that movement you know the first one being the phoebus uh, great white which i uh, reviewed quite a long while back uh, so take a look at that if you wish but i think this is only the second watch i've had so the 9015 is a 28800 beat per hour movement. Now this is the only uh, Japanese movement that I have reviewed uh, that has that higher beat rate, you know, similar to the basic Swiss beat rate uh, rather than 21600, which is more common for Japanese movements, 24 joules and a 40 hour reserve. Uh, as you might expect, it does have hacking. It does have manual winding as well as a quick set date. In this case, it's implemented uh, here at the 430 position you know black writing on the white wheel as you can see there you know just a plain window there's no bother on that uh, but you know it kind of suits the characters of this watch i think the case here is a big 45 millimeters across uh, it is 16 millimeters thick so pretty chunky but not quite as thick as the pantor seal which i think is a more massive watch uh, 24 millimeters across the lugs there and it has a rather big, uh, as you might expect, lug to lug distance of 54 millimeters between my thumbs there. Okay, so all in all, this comes in at a smidgen under 250 grams. Also one of the heaviest watch that I have ever reviewed. Just a little bit shy of the Pantor seal, I think, which is a, you know, a, a handful of grams heavier. If you had all the links in, of course, it would be even heavier. It's kind of would be... Uh, probably another 30 grams with all the links in the finishing as you've seen me pan the watch around is actually fully brushed there is not a single polished surface on this watch at all it's longitudinal on the top of the lugs and longitudinal brushing on the sides but interestingly uh, it's a little bit you know kind of more blasted uh, along the the bezel there you know it doesn't really have an easy direction that i can find on that gear grip bezel which is pretty cool i think and then on the radial uh, brushing on the sides there uh, of the of the back if you i'm not sure if it's gonna come in very easily but the 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 lugs 
and the case back I actually brushed in a, a radial type of pattern. Okay, so uh, with uh, that uh, very, very robust screwing case back, right, just look at the etching, the details there, you know, very, very robust, uh, over-engineered, you know, many notches there, which you don't really need, you know, you don't need 12 notches, uh, over-engineered uh, case back with a solid screw-in, nicely signed crown, this watch is rated at 1,000 meters. You can see it on the bottom of the dial there. And with that 1,000 meter rating, it does have an automatic helium escape valve at the nine o'clock position, which is appropriate if you're gonna make a watch, uh, I think, that goes down to 1,000. You know, <laughs> well, I, I guess, you know, how realistic is that? Uh, I, I think if you're gonna go for world record scuba diving, uh, yep, that probably comes into play, but. For most of us mortal men, uh, this will probably never uh, feature. And how does this work? I I'm not really sure. It's automatic. There's no, no, nothing you need to do to, to work it. So I assume it's similar to the uh, Rolex uh, C-Dollar type of uh, automatic helium escape valve. Let me know if you have more information on that because Pantor don't actually have that on their uh, website. Okay, guys, moving on to the dial here. Just let you look at that. You know, fairly nice matte black dial it is wholly printed that is not a single applied element uh, on there uh, but you know somehow i think they they kind of get away with it in terms of the the character uh, of this particular wash uh, the the hands are sword hands and they're polished steel sword hands uh, you know with that brightly colored uh, second hand which nicely adds a splash of color to this face i think i think that's an appropriate uh, choice there. It is loomed in C3 Super Luminova and the, the loom works really quite well. It's almost as good as Seiko Lumi Bright Divers. You know, maybe maybe actually on par actually. I haven't done the direct test but it does feel like that. Uh, and so you can see loom uh, on those 12 hour markers there, on the hour minute hands as well as that pip on the second hand. And of course uh, the loom shot I will put right here to let you see how it works in the dark and it works very well moving on to the bezel you know that gear grip is pretty cool i think i've, I've really quite enjoyed that 120 click unidirectional dive style bezel with an aluminium insert okay so that that isn't a ceramic insert uh, and and you can argue whether they should have put ceramic with this price but you know they've chosen to go aluminium and some people would argue aluminium is more functional than ceramic, which has a risk of shattering with impact. On top of that is a thick, flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. All right, so that's just what that is. There's no dome on there, it's a flat sapphire. Right, now moving on to the bracelet, which is possibly one of the highlights of this watch. I'll just let you look at that. You know, very, very solid. You know, of course, it's gonna be solid end links it is actually fully brushed and it is 15 pieces per link this bracelet all those pieces are actually individual and that is just massive i think that's possibly uh, the most number of pieces per link i've ever seen on the bracelet and this is one of the things that attracted me most is this very interesting bracelet now pantol has said that this is uh, custom and it's only found on this watch i'm not sure i'm not sure whether there's a third party manufacturer that you can get this from let me know if you know i've put up this question on what you seek and i haven't gotten an answer so possibly you're correct this may well be a unique custom you know, bracelet you know for for this watch so, so let me know if you find any more information i'm very keen to hear if this can be found elsewhere uh, the the links are of course attached by screws right with with as with the other watch uh, it is actually a screw link with this very solid bracelet you know on par with anything from strap code i think okay looking at the class it is actually a you know a machine class some maybe possibly some press parts but but mostly machined i think you know and push button release nice etching there of a seahorse and pantor under there and the surprise here is that it does have a six step micro adjustment, kind of like a glide lock, but not really, you know, let's just show it to you at the back there. You can see that, right, it's pretty cool. You know, that I, I was surprised. I didn't know about that uh, before I opened the package. So that's a nice touch. It's really quite 
uh, great to have that micro adjustment built into the class here. So let's just put it on for the wrist shot. And there we have the massive Pantor Seahorse on my 17 centimeter wrist. And this watch strictly is too big for me, right? It's, it's thick, it's chunky. The lug to lug is strictly too big for my 17 centimeter wrist, but what have you, you know, I think I, I've enjoyed using this in casual situations. I won't take this into the office. It's just, it's just not suitable for, uh, you know, formal uh, slash office uh, shirt and tie work, but Casual, I think you get away with it, or at least uh, I have done so, and people don't really uh, kind of question it. It doesn't shout out uh, too much, you know, it doesn't make too much noise, right? It's relatively quiet, and it's a dark blue, not the bright blue. So I, I think it's, it, it's, it's okay, you know, I've quite enjoyed uh, using this. So guys, that's to watch what's been the enjoyment here. Well, look, I think it's a super solid, tough diver, obviously, like the seal. Uh, it, it has enough mass to kind of inflict some serious damage if you, you know, again, if you choose to hit someone with it on your wrist, uh, you really have a, quite a chunk of metal here. Uh, it's got an awesome bracelet. This is really one, you know, of the best bracelet under a thousand dollars, even even over a thousand dollars that I have got in my hands on. It's really an excellent bracelet, and I think it is a great pairing with this watch. You know, it simply is. And I think they have made nice design choices. I like the handset, that those swords. I like the markers, you know, just that this triangular teeth-like markers at the compass positions and then circular elsewhere. It's, it's really quite a nice uh, kind of balance to the overall feel of the watch here. Um, you know, I, I think that the bezel grip design, and I've pointed this out, this gear is, is again a nice choice, as well as that very, very solid case back that they've chosen to implement, you know, all these are really make for a nicely balanced watch, even though it is a massive watch. And that, that's the main um, fallback here. You know, the main weakness or con is that it is massive, you know, 248 grams adjusted, probably close to 280 grams total, you know, at 54 millimeter lug to lug, it's not for everyone. You know, it's also 16 millimeter stick, not everyone, you know, will suit this watch. You know, if you have a larger wrist than mine, if you have seven and a half inch, uh, say, or, or bigger, certainly you would carry this, you know, quite nicely, I think, at that size. Uh, and then lastly, I'll say, you know, whilst the quality is absolutely great almost everywhere, I think the only place where it falls back a bit is this side of the class. And, and then kind of these edges here along this side, there, there's a little bit of sharpness probably can do with one more pass of finishing here you know it does feel a little bit too unrefined just a, just a tiny bit the rest of the bracelet is absolutely fine it's just that bit of the class there that i've noticed so guys there you go the pantor seahorse blue bezel that's my thoughts this watch does come in a, a couple of other versions uh, i think the blue is actually sold out but take a look at their website and links that i've provided let me know what you think very keen to hear your thoughts on this super massive watch uh, or any other Pantor brand watches if you have any experience with them. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, uh, let me know uh, what you think on the channel and do consider subscribing. Uh, I always put out content weekly, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you next time.